Brentech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. So we have our brand new version of Firefox for desktop, version 110, which Mozilla rolled out on the 14th of Feb. And this latest release now is the latest stable version. Now, there's quite a lot going on in version 110. And at first, um, it's an important security update. So just to go through the security fixes quickly, um, it does address 19 security issues that are rated high or lower. So because we are dealing with um, security problems, it's always important to double check that your browser is up to date. So um, as mentioned, version 110.0. Now, a high rated um, and high severity vulnerability is your second or highest after a critical. So although version 110 is getting a lot of changes and a couple of new features, um, even if you are not interested in those, your browser is your first line of defense. So just double check, it is up to date to address those 19 different security issues in the browser. Now with the security issues and security flaws out of the way. Um, just a quick look now at some of the other features that have rolled out and the new features and improvements that have rolled out in version 110. Now, um, it is now possible to import your different um, your different bookmarks, uh, history and passwords now from Oprah, Oprah GX and Vivaldi. And uh, um, previously, it was only uh, available to import your bookmarks from Edge, Chrome or Safari. So now Oprah, Oprah GX and Vivaldi, you can now import all your different data into Firefox if you are migrating over to Firefox. And then if we just head over to the address bar and I'm just going to type in about, and I have posted on this before, we get the a GPU sandboxing now available about, and I'm just going to enter colon support. And if we go right down to the bottom of the page, I actually posted on this a couple of weeks ago, but just to do a quick recap, um, GPU process sandboxing is now enabled and available in Firefox version 110. When I did post previously, that value was zero. Now it's a one, which means anything with one and above means it's enabled. Now, basically, just a quick recap on what GPU sandboxing is all about. Um, it isolates the process of the graphics processor, the GPU, to neutralize malware attacks or reduce the impact that they can have on your system. So it's just enhancing that security level, the security level for your graphics processing unit. And just one thing to take note of here, according to Mozilla, they say when this is enabled, though, if you are using the X mouse button control, XMBC tool. This may cause um, the mouse wheel scrolling to stop working and um, they say they are working on an update to this problem. So just take note if you do upgrade to version 110 and this GPU sandboxing is enabled now by default, um, X mouse button control, the tool may cause the mouse wheel scrolling to stop working. So just take note of that. And then um, another thing while we are uh, in the address bar in the about page, um, if we just head back, and this time, we are just going to type in about third party. So let's just get rid of support and add third party. This is your third party module information. And uh, um, on Windows, um, Mozilla says that third party modules can now be blocked from injecting themselves into Firefox which can uh, be helpful if they are causing crashes or other undesirable behavior. So um, if you head over to this page, um, you can basically block those third-party modules that cause issues such as browser crashes, as we can see from the description. And uh, um, that's by typing third-party into the address bar about third-party, as you can see I've done. So you can just um, block those third-party modules if they are causing crashes and issues in version 110. Now, just to carry on, um, Apparently, the date, the date, time, and date time locale input fields can now be cleared with command and backspace and command delete shortcut on Mac OS and control backspace and control delete on Windows and Linux. So that's regarding those date and time input fields. And then we also get GPU accelerated canvas 2D, which is now enabled by default on Mac OS and Linux. Um, which is basically a bit of a performance uh, issue fix 
um, an acceleration when it comes to your GPU using Canvas 2D. And then also um, WebGL performance improvements are available now on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So a couple of performance improvements there when it comes to um, GPU accelerated Canvas 2D and WebGL performance in version 110. And also the last kind of new major change and improvement is that on Windows 10 and Windows 11, overlay of hardware decoded video and non-Intel GPUs um, is now supported in version 110. And basically um, the long and the short of all that is that um, it improves video playback and performance and video scaling quality. And there have been a couple of issues regarding video playback in previous versions of the browser. So um, if you have, have experienced those issues with video performance playback, just make sure that you have this latest update version 110.0 as it could on Windows 10 and Windows 11 um, fix those issues. And that's more or less what is new and changed and improved in version 110. And then as mentioned, over and above that, we get various security fixes. And then last, um, just one last change, just to mention quickly, colorways are not available. That's the colorways themes are not available in version 110 anymore. So they are not available in the Firefox web browser. But according to Mozilla, you can still access your saved and active colorways by selecting add-ons and themes from the Firefox menu. So just take note of that. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.